what I see in my community is a really beautiful example of the ways that love and empathy are saving lives and holding our community together and um, doing so in very radical, innovative ways. Okay, let's do Nidanago Elamaya Abinaskim Tail Feathers. Uh, I'm the director of Gimabi Bitsin, The Meaning of Empathy. How many people have we lost to this crisis? I would say we've lost hundreds. Gimabi Bitsin, The Meaning of Empathy, is a portrait of my community's response to the overdose crisis, and it's also a look at harm reduction through an Indigenous lens. I wanted to document all of the community mobilization that was happening um, when I was looking at portraits of the community through the news media, I was often seeing um, kind of a tragedy-centric uh, narrative of my community that was, that was missing out on all of the hard work that was happening on the front lines. And so I wanted to be able to humanize their experience and to provide an opportunity for people who may not necessarily understand um, the, the nature of addiction to see people with addictions as human beings and deserving of dignity and respect, and also serve as a, as a tool for dialogue regarding harm reduction and how it can work within an Indigenous community. During my research for this film, I spent time learning from harm reduction advocates on Vancouver's downtown east side. I wanted to share what I had learned with my community, so my mother and I arranged for a group of healthcare workers from Kainai to visit the downtown east side. Myself as a, as a filmmaker, I, I had to really consider all of those ethical questions about what does it mean to document the stories of people who are very vulnerable or who have been made vulnerable when I hold the power and privilege as, as the filmmaker and I can make editorial decisions and ultimately had to you know work from a trauma-informed practice and think about how I can implement harm reduction into my own process as a filmmaker and how I can implement Blackfoot ways of being um, and Blackfoot values like Gimma Bibitsen into the process. I think I consistently challenged myself just to work in a different way and work in a way that reflected my community and the way that we care for each other and relate to one another. Every day that I was able to document my community was such an honor. I was consistently just in awe of the work that was happening. I was also just so deeply moved by the strength of people living with substance use disorder and the barriers that they've had to, to face on a daily basis. I'm just in awe of their strength and their capacity to move forward with love and compassion and care. I'm so happy and proud of the film and where it's traveled and how it's doing because I feel like it's offering the opportunity for people to see my community through a, a human lens and witness the strength and, and love and dignity that exists within. And I certainly hope that it inspires change and continues to honor the legacy of my community and the people who exist there.